welcome to day three. Welcome to day three, halfway through our week already. It's gone so fast. It really has. It has. And we've learned so much about who this Jesus is already. Is there even more to know? There is even more. So we've dared to discover, we've dared to follow. And this week, we're going to dare to change today, for day three. How does dare to change involve treasure? Well, it's about this man called Zacchaeus. And he was a man that used to take people's money to pay their taxes, which is basically a grown-up's bill. But not just taking the taxes, he took a little bit more on top to fill his own treasure box up so that he would become rich. Um, so that, that's why we have our treasure chest today. But before we do that, Laura, I think we need to remind ourselves of those four R's. That's a Wow, you even remember those four R's today. Becky, you are on a roll, aren't you? I need to put this down first though because it's a bit heavy for me. <sighs> it looks like you've got lots of treasure in there. I have been collecting. So, the four R's, can you remember what they are? Do you think our holiday clubbers at home can remember? I really hope so. I think they will have. They normally are better than what we are mm. remembering. But can you remember? We've got respect our space. Respect our space. Respect God. Respect God. Respect each other respect each other and respect each other's property well becky you are impressing me this year normally you always forget so you're doing really well so yeah that's what our story is going to be today we're going to be looking at how zacchaeus learned to respect but also dared to change but becky my question for you before we go off and do all sorts of other things today is do you dare to change oh, i think so but i'm not 100 percent. i think i might need to find out a bit more but are you ready to start this new day? Are you ready at home for a brand new day? It's a brand new day that God has made I've got to get up and celebrate today Cause it's a brand new day I've got to get up and celebrate today Cause it's a brand new day The sun is up, another brand new day is born There has never been a day like this before Today is a new day, I started the right way By being thankful The sun is up, another brand new day is born There has never been a day Another brand new day is born There has never been a day like this before Today is a new day, I started the right way By being thankful, the sun is up Another brand new day is born There has never been a day like this before Today is a new day, I started the right way By thanking God for this new day And I don't care what the weather's bringing Cause each new day is a reason for singing It's a brand new day that God has made I've got to get up and celebrate today Cause it's a brand new day It's a brand new day 
Good morning and welcome to Dare to Follow News. Our headline today, Fishermen Called to be Fishers of Men. Jesus has called several fishermen to abandon their nets and boats and become fishers of men. Simon is one of the fishermen who answered the call. Simon, tell us why. Well, what happened was we were sorting out our nets and Jesus came along. He called out to Andrew and me and said, come and follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I'll admit it was a weird thing to say, but it just felt right. So Andrew and me, we left our things. We wouldn't be needing them anymore and followed Jesus. He called out to some others and they followed him too. It was a risk, sure, but when you know it's right, what are you going to do? Thank you, Simon. Breaking news. Little man in a tree. A little man has been spotted in a tree. The reason is currently unknown. We'll see if we can find out and let you know. That's it from me. Tune in tomorrow for more Dare to Follow news. Thanks Chris for that daily update. Now, Laura said she was out in a tree somewhere, but I can't see it. Laura! Becky! Laura! Becky! Laura! Becky, I'm in a tree! What are you doing up there? I'm up here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Now I see you've got your Bible again. I have got my Bible. Does that mean we get another story? It does mean you get another story. I'm sat up here having a little reflection on, on the story for the day, the dare to change. Will you tell us? I will tell you. Do you want to hear it all about it? Yes, please. There was this man called Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus was a short, short man. He couldn't see past people. You see, Jesus had just come into the town. And as he came into the town, crowds and crowds and crowds of people had gathered around to hear all about what Jesus had to say. They dared to follow. They were daring to discover. And now they were daring to hear. But the thing is, everybody didn't think Zacchaeus was that great a man. Everybody thought he was a little bit of a low life. You see, he did some wrong stuff. Instead of just taking the money that he had to, he took extra money, almost stealing from the people in the town, just so that he could be rich. He wanted to have a glimpse of Jesus, but he knew he was absolutely hated by the whole town. So he thought the best thing to do was while all the crowds followed, was to sneak in from behind and climb up a tree. And just then, he could have a glimpse of what Jesus was up to and what Jesus was saying. Although things changed a little for Zacchaeus. Everybody in the crowd was shouting out to Jesus, Jesus, come to my house for dinner. Jesus, come and heal my friend. Jesus, 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 come and do this, come and do that. Jesus, won't you teach me? But Zacchaeus, you see, he climbed in the tree and he watched. And there Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down from that tree. Come right down. Come and join me. Let me come to your house for dinner tonight. The crowds were absolutely shocked. Who on earth is this Jesus going to just Zacchaeus' house? But that man, he's a wrong man. He's a bad man. He steals. He lies. Jesus, he isn't the person you want to see. But Jesus said, no, tonight I'm going to have friend, dinner with my friend Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was so excited about it. He couldn't wait. Zacchaeus opened up his door and told everybody that Jesus was in. And there, Jesus and Zacchaeus had their dinner together. But something happened with Zacchaeus that day. Jesus changed him just from having dinner with him. You see, Zacchaeus knew he needed to change and he knew that he needed to pay back what he'd done wrong. It wasn't good enough to just say sorry. So of all the things that Zacchaeus had, he said, I will give you back four times more than what I've taken. I will share everything I have because now I dare to change. I dare to discover who this Jesus is. I dare to follow him. And to do that sometimes, each one of us have to dare to change too. Jesus had forgiven Zacchaeus. In fact, Jesus had become Zacchaeus' friend. And Jesus says about that too. He says he wants us to be his friend. 
So the question is still there. Do we dare to follow Jesus? Do we dare to change? Hey, thank you, Laura, for our story. And now it's time to go over to Ruth to see what our activity is for today. Hello, everyone. You've just heard the story about Zacchaeus, who is a man who was desperate to know more about Jesus. But in order to follow Jesus, Zacchaeus had to change. But I don't mean this kind of change where you just change the outside, you change your clothes. I mean, he had to change who he was, change in his heart. We're going to do a little activity now to show how we might be able to change in our hearts that's different from just changing on the outside. So for this activity, you need a piece of paper and some pens and things to colour in with. With your piece of paper, you need to fold your edges into the middle so it looks a bit like a book. And then you need to write down on the outside some of the things that you like to do. So I've wrote down, I like to bake. I like watching some sports, I like watching TV. I like coloring. So have a think, some of the things that you like to do. But remember, these aren't the things that are the important thing to change. And then open up your little booklet and draw a heart on the inside and colour it in. Then what I want you to think about is some of the things that you can change about yourself that are the important changes in life that will help you be able to follow God. Some of the things that I've written down on mine are help my parents, to be kind, to talk to God, which means to pray, have good manners, read the Bible more, and be a caring friend. Now, you might not put the same things as me, but that's okay because we're all different. But have a think about some of the things that you can change in your heart, just like Zacchaeus changed. It wasn't about his clothes, it wasn't about what games he liked to play, but it was about what really mattered. And now we're going to sing Lighthouse.
Jesus was going through Jericho. There was a man who lived there called Zacchaeus. He was a tax collector and had a lot of money. Zacchaeus wanted to discover who Jesus was, but he was too short to see over the crowd. Zacchaeus went and climbed up a tree so he could see Jesus. Jesus saw him up there and said, Zacchaeus, come down from there. I want to come to your house for dinner tonight. So Zacchaeus climbed down from the tree. The people in the crowd started to mutter. Why does Jesus want dinner with him? He's not a very nice person. He's done some bad things. Zacchaeus said to Jesus, Lord, I'm going to change to be a nice person from now on and I'll make up for all the bad things I've done. Jesus was very happy to hear this and said, Today this house is saved. I have come to seek and to save everyone. It's now time for our memory verse. I wonder how many of our holiday clubbers will be able to remember our holiday club all week. So over to Dan and Martha for our challenge today. Never. Will I? Leave you. And never. Will I forsake you? Hebrews thirteen verse five. Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Hebrews thirteen verse five. Rumour has it David is going to be giving us a challenge each day. So David, what is our challenge of the day today? Hello again. Did you get the answer to yesterday's question? Who were the first people to follow Jesus? Was it John and Andrew or was it Peter and Philip? It was John and Andrew. So today's story is about Zacchaeus. And I want to ask you, what did Zacchaeus climb? Was it a wall? Did he sit on somebody's shoulders? Or did he climb a tree? I'll give you the answer tomorrow. Bye! So Laura, today we've been thinking about change and how Zacchaeus changed from being a man who took all the money and even more to giving the money to other people. So today, during our quiet time and talking to God, I thought we could think about the things that we want to ask God to help us to change in our life. So it might be that we want to share more with our brothers and sisters. Or stop arguing with our parents. Or take turns with our friends. Or actually do our homework on time. There's lots of different <laughs> things we might want to change and make ourselves better, more like Jesus. So when we talk to God today, perhaps you might want to write a list of things that you want to change, ask God to help with or have them in your mind when you're talking to God. So shall we pray? Let's pray under the tree. Dear God, we thank you that you are an amazing God. We thank you that you help us when we ask for your help. Lord, we pray that the things that we are thinking of in our life that we want to change, that you can help change. Pray that you'll give us the strength to change them, to be more like you be loving to others, to be kind and caring. Lord, we thank you that you are a loving God. Amen. Amen. So perhaps when you say your prayer, you might want to go outside like we have, or find a tree, or, or find a bush somewhere quiet, but perhaps something that reminds you of that story. A little time to reflect and dare to change. Definitely.
We have. We've been looking at Zakir and how he dared to change, even though it was a little bit scary. And so, as we've looked at it, maybe we could think about what we've been doing on our memory verse this week, because it has been scary. Do we dare to follow Jesus? Do we dare to discover who he even is? Do we dare to change? What we need to remember is, in all the way through that, as scary as that might be, God says, never will he leave us and never will he forsake us, which means we're never on our own. Whether we dare to change, dare to discover, and dare to follow, we're never going to be on our own. Zacchaeus wasn't on his own. He had dinner with Jesus and then made a massive change, which shows as we dare to discover who Jesus is, just like Zacchaeus did, then we will be able to dare to change too. That's amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. So, although I have heard in our weather report, tomorrow is going to get a bit stormy. Tomorrow is going to get very stormy. And the question is, Becky, today I was meant to ask you, do you dare to change? Now you've heard the story? Definitely dare to change. Now will you dare to trust? Well, I'm not so sure. That's tomorrow's challenge. Will you dare to trust? And for you at home, holiday clubbers, do you dare to change like Zacchaeus did? And will you dare to trust tomorrow? I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye!